So the topic is painting styles in Himalayan and Tibetan art. Uh, painting styles is a very big subject. It, uh, it, it covers roughly a thousand years, uh, starting from the beginning of the second millennium. So around 1000 in the common era. Uh, we don't really have a lot of painting examples prior to that. Uh, we do have sculpture and we have architecture and we have uh, relief carving, stone carvings, uh, artworks uh, such as that. But painting styles, we've already discussed uh, a little bit the difference between painting styles and painting traditions, but right now we're just going to talk about styles in a very broad sense. So early on, a lot of the, the Himalayan Painting styles came from outside of Tibet. In the extreme west, uh, there was a very strong uh, Kashmir, Kashmiri influence uh, in uh, coming to, uh, so that affected uh, western Tibet uh, and the Ngari area. Now, in the central Tibetan regions, it was more of an influence from north India and uh, then Nepal. So we have these three regions which have uh, influenced the the painting arts of Tibet from really 1000 of the common era to roughly the the 15th century um, and they're very distinctive and they also they also uh, fit very well with the four composition types where you have the the Indian style is more overlapping figure composition the Nepalese style is a, a register composition, and and that's the early period. Uh, the the Kash, Kashmiri style is a kind of a mix of the Indian and uh, a little bit of of similar to Nepalese style. From the 15th century onwards, then mid 15th century onwards we we get what what are sometimes called the really true tibetan styles which are the um, kenri style and the menri the kenri is uh, uh comes from the artist kense chenmo and the menri from uh, menla dundrup uh, the name of the artist and these two styles of art became very popular and and really took over. And the composition style that they employed is not uh, borrowed from Nepal, Kashmir, or India. It's actually a floating figure. It's floating figures within the the, the rectangular or, or, or square composition of uh, a mural or a, or a scroll work painting. So from the, the 15th century onward, this is really uh, the two main types of, of style, which then become in the last uh, three, four hundred years, they become traditions. So these are, these are the terms we're using and these are the regions we're talking about.